Today, we are making chicken fajitas out on the Blackstone. Stay tuned. Hey guys, today we're gonna be making some human flesh, I mean uh, fajitas. Today we are making chicken fajitas, all the things you would expect. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts, onion, bell pepper, some jalapenos, and some mushrooms because we definitely like mushrooms in our fajitas. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chicken breasts, we're gonna open these up, and because they're a little thick on one side, I'm gonna sort of butterfly these a little bit. You can see here we got a thin side and a really thick side of this breast. I'm just gonna take this right here, and I'm gonna start to slice across here and open this up almost like a butterfly. The idea is that's gonna get it all about the same thickness and that'll just cook a little easier on the Blackstone. So we're gonna do three breasts this way. Same thing here, just butterfly this part and flop, flop it open. It'll sit nice and flat. So we've got our griddle on just a little bit between low and medium. We're just gonna slap these breasts right down on here and we'll close this lid so they start to cook. All right, while we've got those chicken breasts going, let's go ahead and prep our vegetables and just get them cut up so we can begin to start sauteing these as well. So I'm just using one onion. Normally, if I were making this much fajita, I would probably do multiple onions. I think I've probably shared on this channel before. Not everybody in our family likes them, so this will probably be, you know, me and the oldest grand squid that are eating the onions. One whole one will be more than enough. Do the same thing here with my bell pepper. I like to just sort of take these and go right around the stem on these guys. Makes it nice and easy to get them cleaned out. Now I'm a fan of my bell peppers cut pretty thin. I know a lot of people like them a little bit bigger. I don't, so I try to go nice and thin with these guys. And I say thin, I'm talking about a quarter inch or so thick. Um, I actually like them to be a little bit sautéed and brown and frankly even a bit soft when you're eating them. As opposed to, you know, when you get them at a restaurant and they're, they're still the, the heavy crunchy part in the fajita mixture. And same with our jalapenos. I like, what I like to do is I like to cut the, uh, the very tail end off as well as the end up top. It makes it a little easier for cleaning out the insides of these guys. That way, if you just cut them down this way, and sort of clean them right out. What I like to do is take my knife in here and roll it right along these fins. And if you do that good, you can sort of just get all of the, uh, the seed pods right out of that guy. I can start to hear some of those chicken breasts sizzling up, which is perfect. That means it's time for me to go ahead and season them before I flip them. I'm just gonna take these jalapenos and cut them into nice little tiny segments. We'll saute these separately and keep them separate so anybody that wants the spicy jalapenos can get them. Those that don't can skip them. I know a lot of people just put raw jalapenos in their fajitas. I'm a fan of uh, sauteing them. I think they're a little bit better that way. I'm just using a little bit of taco seasoning here. You can use fajita or taco seasoning, whatever you like. Well, it's not coming out of there very good, so let me right, sprinkle it lightly. Now let's go ahead and slice up our onions for sauteing as well. And again, I do these about the same size as the bell peppers, about a quarter inch, maybe even a little bit less than that. But I like to do them in these half moon size pieces. I think that's, it's good to have a good chunk in there instead of almost nothing. All right, let's go ahead and take this and get these going on the griddle now. We'll get our onions, our peppers, our jalapenos and our mushrooms, as long as we have space over there. <laughs> We're moving along quickly. Now, let's get a little bit more oil down on here. Spread this out a bit. Start with our peppers. I'm gonna put my jalapenos right up here in the front because it's a small amount. And we'll get our onions going right over here. Chicken, starting to look pretty good. Let's get that flipped. A 
these are looking good, but I'm gonna get just a little bit more of our fajita and taco seasoning right down on these guys. Now I'm over seasoning this a little bit because remember, we're gonna slice these up. So the seasoning's only gonna be on two narrow sides of each of the fajita meat slices. Get a little water on these peppers and on the onions. Help them keep them nice and fresh. These look like they still need to go a little longer. I'm gonna cut one and see. Take a look at this and just say, yeah, that, that one looks like it's done all the way through. Those are starting to look pretty good. I like to get them a little bit darker than this, but this is probably about okay to take them off. I'm just gonna keep them going. I'm gonna add a little bit more water and a little bit more oil here. The water helps steam them. It helps keep them a little softer. Another way to do this is you could put a dome lid over these and that works really good as well. The jalapenos are about ready to come off. A few more minutes on these guys. All right, while we're finishing cooking up all those vegetables, let's go ahead and just start slicing this. Now, what I like to do is you wanna go against the grain where you can on these, so Oh boy, I feel a few little trickles of water here as well. I'm gonna start slicing this just like this. And again, this is what you want. You want it to pull apart just like that. It makes it nice and tender. And I do these at about a quarter to a half inch thick, a little bit thicker than the vegetables for sure. That is looking good. So that's it, like look, it, it, there it is. You can see onions, bell pepper, and some of this amazing chicken fajita meat. And there we have homemade fajita. And there we have homemade fajitas at home. Absolutely easy and quick. Mm. That's good. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of jalapenos. That would be phenomenal too. So I'm about to bring this in. Everybody's going to make their own. We'll see you guys next time. Safe and happy grilling. Hey, oh great, you're still here. Hey listen, if you love these videos, check out all of our Pit Boss Smoker videos right up here and all of these Blackstone ones like today, right down there. Bye now. <laughs>